Give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And uh, Lord's willing, pray these lessons be edifying. All right, to the whole four elect. Now, this is uh, something that happened yesterday in camp. And as I was this morning, you know, I was looking at it and then the scripture came in mind. All right. Because uh, everyone has, you know, everybody, uh, you know, in this in this world, especially our people. OK, let's talk about Israel. All right. Two thirds of the Lord's people are asleep. They despise this truth. They reject the knowledge. And everybody seems to have their own perspective of what the Lord is and, you know, what he may look like. OK. And uh, even in Israel, those of the circumcision, you know, you got women who who uh, would, would want to jump to Yahweh Shai, you know, even over they men. You know, when the Lord set it up that a woman should fear her husband, you know, her husband is is sort of as Yahweh Shai to her. All right. But, um, you know, let me say this, too, for the women, you know, who are sincere, who follow you know, in the order, you know, and you listening, you know, this is not geared toward you. This is not to, you know, just bash, you know, the, the black woman, you know, but I'm, I'm, let me say I'm calling it out because this is the spirit of most of these black and Latino women. All right. Got to talk about the majority of our nation. Shit. Hey, the scriptures say two thirds, two thirds is, uh, it's going to be put to death. That's more than the one third. Okay. So, you know, these women, these two women came to the camp. They, I, I knew they was driving. They got out their cars. They um, walked up to us. Then they walked away. Then they walked back up to us. And they was looking at the sign. And I thought, you know, maybe they knew they were Israelites. They wanted to see us. They wanted to, you know, maybe say something. And um, really, they were demons, you know. And uh, the spirit had it where, you know, you know, in, in my heart, my mind, that I thought, you know, they wanted to ask a question. So when I said, hey, y'all got a question, the first thing that came out their mouth, I can't remember, and they was walking away, you know, I said, oh, yeah, let them go. You know, a brother was, it was, uh, he wanted to uh, say, yeah, you know, if y'all got a question, he wanted to pull them back. But I said, you know what, let them go. But instead, they came anyway. All right. So make, so make a long story short, let me uh, play the video. shows you how people are confused she says she took her shahada and she's still christian so she's muslim but she's still christian you know And 
as you can see, this woman will never shut up. You know, she will never shut up so we could bring the scripture out. All right. And as the scriptures say, which I'm going to read it. Okay. Let's go to uh, Proverbs 9 and 13. It says, uh, let's start at 12. If thou be wise, thou shalt be wise for thyself. But if thou scornest, thou alone shalt bear it. A foolish woman is calamitous. Calamorous, she is simple and knoweth nothing. All right, and this is a clear example of calamorous. Now, you know what? Let me see what calamorous means in the blue letter. I mean, in the uh, strong concordance. Am I? To murmur, growl, roar, cry out loud, mourn, rage, sound, make noise. See, that's all she was doing here was making noise, man. You know, making noise. Just would not stop talking. All right. Make noise, tumult, be clamorous, be disquiet, be loud. See, it's just loud. You know, it says be moved, be troubled, be in a roar. Okay. Let me see here. If you describe people of their voices as calamorous, you mean they are talking loudly and shouting. All right. And that's what she was doing, talking loudly instead of being humble. So a foolish woman is calamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right. of Jesus Christ. So he was a black Jesus like this with Which right the here. Most High gave he unto him right here. to show unto his servants Lord, things like that, which must shortly come to pass. And you see, you heard what she said? Let's run that back. Why he gotta look like that though? You know? Women have, you know, they want the Lord to be handsome. They want him to be very gentle and soft mama's boy yes ma'am <laughs> she said her mother was a minister and her mother passed away and her mother didn't even know what color he was i bet you she didn't because she didn't know the scriptures of jesus christ so he was a black jesus like this with which right the here. most high gave he unto him right here. to show unto his servants Lord. And it's the black woman for you. She couldn't shut her mouth. She couldn't be quiet for a second for the brother to bring the scripture out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Matter of fact, somebody bring that out real quick. Oh, Real quick. Hey, this is why they're gonna be destroyed. And then the brother, the brother put up the banner to show you uh um, an illustration of what the law would look like. And she said, why he gotta look like that? This is the black, this this is Eve, man. This is Eve. The scriptures say through her we all die, man. Bring that up. This is uh this Hosea chapter four, verse six. Alright, so there you go. I'll leave a timestamp. If your brother wanted to watch the whole thing in full, I'll leave it in the description or the comment board. Now, I wanted to go to uh, Isaiah 53 because, um, you know, women have this idea that the Lord, you know, is this handsome man. You know, he's this gentle guy. But when but when his, his uh, when the Lord is... Let's say when the Lord is uh, passionate, all right, when he's compassionate upon his people, as he was when he was performing miracles, all right, he showed compassion to our people. But Jake, they don't understand the way that the Lord is coming back. The scriptures say vengeance burneth within his heart. 
when the Lord get off the get off that chariot, all right, which is in Isaiah 63, he's he's gonna, you know, be like a be like a, a lion ravishing the prey, you know. Matter of fact, uh, let me let me go to Isaiah 63. You're not gonna be able to approach the Lord, okay? You ain't the Lord is not a celebrity. Where he's wa he's walking down the street and you're gonna run down on him and he's gonna sign your autograph, okay? All right. The Most High, he's a he's a a power that you know is not to be played with. The scriptures say he's an austere man. All right. Now in the kingdom, we're gonna get to see the side of the Lord, you know, in his gentleness and compassion again. But when the Lord return, all right, you ain't gonna jump over your man and run to your Shai. you know, like if it was a celebrity and shit. You know, brother seeing videos. Here it is, a man and his wife um, in the mall, and they in the store, and they happen to run into Chris Brown or Trey Songs, and this man's wife, you know, just immediately, with no thought, her reaction is to run over there and be a groupie. Hey, yo, what? <laughs> Meanwhile, her husband right there, still in the clothes line. You know, looking at his wife while she run over there and drool over some Chris Brown. You know, if you women think you're going to do that to your high shy, you're going to get put to death, man. You know? Not taking away the compassion of the Lord and his mercy, but that's just not the way the Lord is going to approach this world. You know, these women have a wrong perspective. All right? So anyway, let me, uh, yeah, how was there? Isaiah 63 real quick. 63 and 1, who is this that coming from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness mighty to save. That's Yahweh Shai. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thou garment like him that treadeth in the wine fat? I have trodden down the wine press alone, and the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger. And trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garment, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance in my heart, and the year of my redeem is come. All right, so the day of vengeance burns within the Lord's heart. Okay, he's sitting next, sitting next to Yahweh on the right hand side, and vengeance is, is burning within his mind. He can't wait to get here. You know, get his lick back. All right. So to say, you know, these are Jake terms they use in the world, you know, getting the lick, you know, he can't wait to get back to, uh, you know, the recompense, the tribulation that troubled him or that troubled his elect. All right. So let me go from here, Isaiah, and get 53, chapter 53 and one. It says, who? have believed our report and whom is the arm of Yahweh revealed all right so verse two for he shall grow up before him as a tender plant and as a root out of a dry ground he have no form nor comeliness and when he and when we shall see him there is no beauty that we should desire him so was Yahweh shy this handsome man that your women drooling over you know and and want to get with you thinking he's a mama's boy yes ma'am you know no the scriptures say that he had no form nor comeliness he wasn't this beautiful handsome guy okay matter of fact you know they say the lord was very dark okay very dark revelations 1 and 13 and down it describes that the Shah feet was as if it was burned in a furnace so what that tells you, that Yahweh Shai was very dark, you know, blue dark, all right? And most women today, they don't like uh, a man that's too dark. You know, they say, oh, he blue. You know, you too dark. You know, you're not as good looking as someone that is, you know, you know, brown, you know, lightly brown. You know, nah, the shit is, you know, these women minds of today. It says, and when we shall see him. There is no beauty that we should desire him. It says he is despised and rejected of men, 
a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised and, he, and we esteemed him not. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we did esteem him stricken, smitten of the most high and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and with his, and with his stripes we are healed. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned every one of his way, his own way. And Yahweh had laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and he was afflicted, yet he opened not his mouth. He is brought as a lamb to the slaughter and as a sheep before the shears is dumb. So he opened not his mouth. He was taken from prison and from judgment. And who shall declare his generation? For he was cut off out of the land of the living. For the transgression of my people was he stricken. All right. And that's basically the point. You know, Yahweh Shai, uh, as you can clearly see, you know, he was that, 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 that son. Okay. The only begotten son of the Most High. All right. To go through this. Which to really suffer, you know, a death as if he was a criminal, you know, as if he was a wicked man. All right. He was put on a cross. He was nailed with the, the, the nails in his hands and his foot. OK, he was on there for three days. OK. He died, you know, and when you, you know, you go back and you remember, you, you look up how when um, individuals were uh, be put on a cross, that was basically for a wicked man to die, you know, a criminal, a murderer, you know, a thief, you know, whatever, someone that was judged in the court because he did the crime and he was sentenced to death. You know, that wasn't the way of a, a righteous man's death. All right. Yahweh Shai didn't, you know, just, um, you know, you know, leave us, you know, in, in, um, in an angel form, in a heavenly holy form. He died as a man. Now, the Lord, you know, in Acts, the first chapter at the 11th verse, you know, we obviously, you know, it knows that he came back and then he left. All right. In a chariot. OK, because after the, the Lord had uh, gave up the spirit on the cross. All right. He uh, he rose back up and he appeared upon the uh, before the uh, disciples and he, which be later on became the apostles. And then he was with them for a time. And then what? He was taken with a chariot. All right. But he died in the physical form as a man. All right. But he was a righteous man. Matter of fact, he was perfect. When he was Yahweh Shai. Okay, he died for his sins and he died for our sins. So, you know, that's the this made you the point, man. You know, the Lord wasn't this guy who you think you imagine. You know, that's why it's best to read the scriptures. And these women, you know, and their mindsets is crazy. You know, she said, Why you gotta look like that? You know? One verse one. Wait, Wait, so but the Bible says so Check it out. Well, I'm not trying to start I understand that, but I just got to ask you a question. Do you believe in the Bible? I was raised as a Christian. Okay, so you believe in the Bible? Yeah, it showed, it showed you that women don't actually believe in the scriptures neither, which proves Solomon's case. Okay? Solomon said it, uh, over one man, he had, out of all the men, he found one, and out of all women, he found none. That just proves these women don't believe in the scriptures, man. You know, not only the elect women will, you know, but hey, the majority of our people, they don't believe the scriptures, especially the black and Latino women, you know, as the scriptures have said. My mom, I just lost my mommy, too. And my mom was a Christian. Oh, hold on. Hey, that's fair. And I was like, so you believe in the Bible? I want not lie to you. Now, I got my husband that's one. I got my husband that's one. I took my shahada. Yeah, I saw that downtown. Right, so, uh, I used to be downtown on Fourth Street. All right, now, 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 we're going to read what's in the Bible. Yeah, I saw that downtown. I used to be downtown on Fourth Street. All right, now, now, we're going to read what's
was actually going to do. I remember y'all down top. A lot of people stand by the Bible. to his servants Lord, why gotta things like that, which must shortly come to pass. Why people gonna be destroyed? And it's the black woman for you. She couldn't shut her mouth. She couldn't be quiet for a second for the brother to bring the scripture out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Matter of fact, somebody bring that out real quick. Hey, this is why they're gonna be destroyed. And then the brother, the brother put up the banner to show you uh, illustration. A, a, a illustration of what the law would look like. And she said, "Why he gotta look like that? This is the black. This, this is Eve, man. This is Eve. The scripture say through her we all die, man. Bring that out. This is." Alright, so hopefully I hope you were edified. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Bashim Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who were well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.